Dr. Backpacker. I love your videos. Thanks, and in this episode, a special guest from Ohio. Dr. Backpacker, your tent looks so old. What's the deal? My dad has one just like that. Great question. In this episode of Dr. Backpacker and Kids, we discuss tent care and how to keep your tent in good shape for the years to come. Hey, Dr. Backpacker here, and a lot of people have commented about our old tent, our 1987 Eureka Timberline original tent, which is all the original parts to it too. It kind of leads us to discussion about how to take care of a tent, because camping gear can last a long time if you take good care of it. And this is something you can do with your kids and teach them too how to take good care of their equipment, their gear, and it'll last a long time by doing so. So we just got back from a camping trip. One thing we always do is we put our tent back up in the backyard after we get done. Let it air out. Even if it didn't rain on our backpacking trip, we allow it to air out afterwards. If it did rain, it allows an opportunity for it to dry out afterwards too. So we've let it sit up all day. It's dried out. I've gone around the outside of it with a towel and it washed off kind of areas that got a little bit muddy on the outside. Any dirt is abrasive, so you want to try to get rid of any dirt on the outside of the tent. Make sure it's all clean inside and out. Afterwards, we've gone through, we've swept out all the, all the sand, dirt that might have been collected inside the tent. We have a rule that no shoes allowed in the tent, because any type of shoes, anything like that, is going to be abrasive to the, to the fabric. And that's how you keep a tent clean and in good condition for uh, 33 years. And so this tent has been a workhorse for me. Uh, we've got several of the tents, new tents that are out there are very nice, they're very well made, but it's nice to have a tent like this, it's seen a lot of different places, a lot of memories of them as well. So, like, good gear can last a long time if you take good care of it. So, by trying to keep it all clean, keep it dry, that's what's going to keep it in good shape for a long time. Before I take the tent down, I'm going to put some of the windows about a third of the way down, both sides to be able to ventilate it out. Um, we've got the rain fly on it right now, we've cleaned that all off. I swept out the inside of the tent to get all the debris and sand out of it. Um, I keep my tent always on a ground cloth or footprint. So even if you have a tent that has a um, thick bottom on it, it's nice to have a, a tarp underneath it or a footprint underneath it to keep the bottom clean, but also too to keep it dry if it rains. So I oftentimes come in families when we're on Boy Scout outings who've been camping the first time and don't realize the importance of having a tarp or a or a footprint underneath the tent, very important to have. And so, now I've cleaned everything out, we're gonna go ahead and take everything all down. So now I've taken down the tent, it's completely flat, it's cleaned out, we've flipped everything out, we've washed off the sides, let it all dry completely. Now I'm ready to roll it up. Now there's debate about whether you should roll or stuff your bag, your tent, back into the bag afterwards. And for us, what's worked for us for 33 years for this tent is rolling it back up. That's how I was taught to take care of a tent, that's how I do it now. I know that some suppliers now recommend stuffing it in order to try to get rid of uh, tight points on the tent when rolling it up. but. For a tent that's lasted 33 years, I think that this works pretty fine for, for this tent. So what I'm going to do this is I'm going to roll toward the door. That way when we get ready to use it next time, I'll, hold the, I'll be able to hold the tent and flip it out, and I'll be holding the door so I know exactly which direction the tent will open up. So we'll take the tent, hold, roll toward the door, and we'll put it back in its bag. Some things to remember when taking care of your tent are use a footprint or ground cloth under your tent, no shoes in the tent, be careful with the zipper and avoid snagging the fabric. Set it up after your trip to clean it and dry it out before storing it. And roll the tent towards the door to store it in the bag. Thanks, Dr. Backpacker. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks, and see you at the trailhead.